guys. <clears throat> so question I get a lot. You've got a fan that mounts with a J-hook and you're missing the grommet. And uh, what can you do? Well, you can order them. Uh, Hunter still sells them. Envirofan still sells them. Pretty much any company that still has J-hook fans will sell you one. But, you, you know, and they're usually pretty reasonable. Less than $5 and, you know, but you got to pay shipping and you have to wait for it. So, I've discovered a solution here at my local hardware store. I'm starting here, I'm in the electrical department. And I'm in the rubber bushing section. And so the first thing I do is I go here in the bushings drawer. And there are these large, these large rubber bushings here. Just to give you a gauge of the size, there they are next to the down rod. Got the rubber grommets here. And then I go over here to the I go to the I don't know what you call this, just vinyl tubing, clear vinyl tubing. And I believe this is the one that I use. It's a half inch inner diameter, five eighths outer diameter, and you'll see it fits right over the center of that bushing. So what I need to do is cut a piece. It's just long enough for both of those bushings. Essentially functions as the grommet. So put it inside the down rod claw. Okay, so now we're gonna go over. That was the plumbing. We've been in the electrical section. Now we're in the plumbing section. Now we're going to go over to the uh, <clears throat> to the screws. Now this is a locally owned True Value franchise here that is by far the best hardware store I've ever dealt with. Um, sometimes Ace has these same parts, but it depends on the Ace you get. So you want to find the biggest bolt that'll fit in the hole in the grommets because you uh, don't want to uh, too small and it'll, the grommets will start to get misshapen. So 5 16th looks like about right. 5 16th and 2 inches. And then what I do, I use a stop nut. It's like a nut with a piece of plastic in it. That's what you have resulting. And it'll work just like one that you got from the store, from, not from the store, from the, uh, ordering it from the factory. Okay. So, the next question is, is well, what do you do if you have a down rod, you want to mount it with a J-hook, and you're missing the claw? Well, what I've done in the past, and let's see, I think I know where to find them, is I've used mending plates. You can go over here and find, looking for the shortest ones. So we're going to take the mending plates and we're going to go back over by the screws. So far we have two mending plates and a bolt with another stop nut on it. It's a quarter twenty bolt. Again, I know they have shorter mending plates, I just didn't spot them right away. Okay. So again, if these were a little bit shorter, you wouldn't have quite such a big gap there, and it wouldn't need to be such as big of a gap. But the end result is that you have a J-hook grommet. Mount. This was the larger bolt for the larger claw. So I'm going to take this apart and put all these back because I actually don't need one today. But uh, I was asked on how to do it. So now you can see, like I said, two electrical grommets, a small piece of, of pipe, of vinyl tubing, I guess is what it was called, plastic tubing. 
bolts. And if you don't have the claw, the mending plates. Thanks for watching.